So um, tell me what your name is and who you are. I'm Aidan Ainsley. Um, I was a former Vice President of Sport at Christchurch Students' Union. and I've now um, got a job working in the Sports Department of the University. Lovely. Um, so tell me, why did you stand for election when you ran for SAB? Um, I think initially I really wanted to, I've always wanted to work in sport and I knew that um, working in an organisation like Christchurch SU you'd get a lot of experience of um, more than just the sporting aspects of, of how the university student experience is sort of delivered and um, being as I had such a good time at university I really wanted to sort of be able to give something back so yeah. That's good. Um... Can you give me the highlight of your year in office? I think it's difficult to pinpoint just one thing because you, you do get involved in so many different areas and different things uh, whilst you're doing the role. Um, but I think the culmination of it was at the Sports Federation dinner when you sort of get to see uh, the successes that the sports teams have sort of achieved throughout the year and celebrate it with them. So, And hosting that was definitely a highlight for me, I think. Lovely. Um, so, what benefits do you think that the SAP time actually gives you? Um, benefits? Well, I'd say the responsibility that you end up holding um, at such a young age as well is, is huge. Um, being a, as being a trustee, obviously, you've got responsibility for the sort of general run, well, not the running of the organisation, but the sort of the ca accountability of where that money has been spent and things like that. So, um, having that kind of pressure on you is good and you sort of learn a lot from it so I think that that's obviously it helps to develop um, some skills that you might not have developed straight away from a different graduate job potentially um, and obviously on a personal level it's, it's helped me to sort of launch my career in sport in the HE sector so it's been, uh, it's been good Good um, and obviously people need to campaign to get that role so have you got any tip um, to actually win an election? Um, I'd say make sure you don't do what most politicians do and lie on your manifesto. <laughs> make sure you're speaking to students and finding out exactly what they want because students are only going to vote for what they sort of want to see come to fruition in the following year. So you need to make sure that you're speaking to students and reflecting what they want in your manifesto. Um, and if you do that, you should be fine. Lovely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. That was Aidan Ainsley, <laughs> former VP Sport. Lovely. Thank you.